Hey guys, so here we are today at the Mimosa Market, and I gotta tell you, this store is fantastic. They have vintage furniture, they have shabby chic, they've got the farmhouse vibe, they've got all kinds of unique gifts, and I just can't wait to get inside and show you what I found. So I'll link their contact information below. So, oh, here we go. Look at the store. There's thousands and thousands of items in the store. I'm just showing you a fraction of what I saw today. So look at these right out of the gate. You know I love angels and these are little candlestick holders and I think you actually got both of these for $12. Oh, aren't they beautiful? And they had so many beautiful items in this store. It was just a feast for your eyes everywhere you looked. And I love that they had it decorated for Christmas. And I want to tell you guys, I have a surprise coming up. They invited me back after hours. So we're going to see what the store looks like all lit up. Oh, I can't wait. Look at these adorable bird ornaments. Oh, they were so pretty. Oh, and I love an angel. And look at these flannel scarves. Oh, I thought they were beautiful. $12 each. And I thought this would be a perfect gift maybe for one of your friends or like I say for yourself. So they've got some beeswax lip balm and some bath soak. And I just want you guys to look just at all of this and take it in. They just had so many unique items. Oh, we better not pout, right? <laughs> Santa, we want you to come to our house. And just here's another shot around the store. Look at this place. It just goes on and on. The owner is so sweet and so nice, and everyone who works here just makes you feel so welcome. Oh, look at those tea towels, $4. Oh, and I love their mugs, and they had tons of mugs around here. Oh, I love that Christmas tree, $14. Ooh, so pretty. And here's an adorable snowman cookie jar, all hand painted with love in Portugal. And look at this old sled. So this just brought back memories from my childhood. My brother and I had a sled and it probably looked just like this one. <laughs> we loved it. We had so much fun. I grew up in the mountains of Western North Carolina and we always had large snows and oh my gosh, I just remember hours and hours of fun on that old sled. Oh, and you know I love a bird. And oh, I really like these mugs best. So, Pier One. And this sign was metal. I thought that would be so pretty on your fireplace mantle. And this looked like a mid century vase. I wanted to showcase this. So someone had used this old ladder and they kind of made it into a garden vibe. I love that idea. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all that. Oh, and I love this blue sled. I thought that would be so pretty on your front porch near your door. I love that blue color. They had so many signs around the store. So this one says it's better to walk alone than with a crowd going in the wrong direction. And this one, be kind or be quiet. <laughs> I'd like to say that a time or two. And we rise by lifting others. Yes, we do. Oh, and I love this Christmas set with the poinsettias on it. Oh, and they had so many beautiful wreaths here today. Oh, look at this fancy chair. 
Mm, I thought that was beautiful. And they had several chairs in here today that I absolutely loved. And here's another section of their store. I'm telling you, it's just beautiful here. It's magical. And look at these snowflakes. I think they've made these out of paper bags. You guys will have to let me know below. Have you ever tried to make these? I'm not sure how easy they are, but I always think they're so beautiful. And look, this is a little checkerboard with snowmen. Oh, I thought that was such a clever idea. Oh, and I love those old vintage looking Christmas trees. Oh yes, Santa, please stop here. <laughs> I need that sun at my house. And they have tons of jewelry here. They have some newer items and they have some vintage pieces. And I thought really good prices. Oh, and here's a handmade Christmas stocking. Oh, and if your friend likes to bake, they've got items like that here at the Mimosa Market. And look at these placemats. Ooh, that would make your table look so fancy. <laughs> so, so fancy. And I love this little Santa ornament. He just kind of looked like he had a 1960s vibe. Oh, I love this shirt. Love, love it. $7. Oh, I should have got that. Oh, <laughs> I should have got that. Look how cute that is. And I've seen several of these cake platters and servers. This one was $12. I love the poinsettias on it. Oh, and there's another one of their beautiful wreaths. Oh, I love, love, love that. Oh, and I'm from the South, so we do say Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> and look at this architectural piece. Oh, I love that. And here's another shot back through their store. I'm telling you, they have thousands of items here. Oh, and here's some cute little earrings. I think these were all $3 a pair. Oh, um, my wish for everyone out there is to have a great day. And look at this. I found an antique French enamel wear hand-painted coffee pot from the early 1900s. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And look at these bar stools. I thought these were beautiful. So I think that said $289. It's leather. Absolutely gorgeous. Those look brand, brand new. I don't know if they were or not, but they were beautiful. And I like these. It's more of a primitive vibe or a farmhouse vibe. And these actually plug in. So I'm assuming it's some type of lamp. Isn't that pretty? I think that one might be a birdhouse. And I picked this one up and this is a little birdhouse. Look at that. Adorable. This little shelf caught my eye. It kind of looked like an old timey washboard, just kind of glancing at it, but what a clever idea. And you know I love baskets, so this basket was less than $20, and it was huge. Oh, isn't that pretty? And they have pillows and pillow shams here, and these look like they're really, really good quality. Very fancy. Look at these pillows. Oh, look at these pillows. Oh, and they were so economical. I think they were all less than $30. Here's some for $21. Oh, I love that. And look, they had four of those. Oh, and the backs. Oh, the backs felt so soft. These are vintage toys. These aren't for sale, but I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, that brought back some memories for me. I think I had a little doll bed and a little high chair like that for my doll. <laughs> I love it. And here's a hobnail vase, and they had lots of pieces like this here. I think that was $9, fantastic deal. Okay, who had an old General Electric makeup mirror? It says day, office, home, or evening. 
<laughs> so I know I put my makeup onto one of those. Oh, and I love this flower vase, $12. And I love that blue vase in the back. And look at that poodle. Oh, how adorable. Oh, I love this necklace. Oh, I meant to get that necklace. If I go back, I may get that. I thought that was so pretty with all the pinks. Look at this table, how fancy they've got it set up. So I thought it was so beautiful. And look at these plates. So it's four plates and it showcases the 12 days of Christmas. And you got all four plates for $15. I thought that was a fantastic deal. And just look how pretty. That would make such a beautiful hostess gift for someone. Oh, or a gift for me. <laughs> or a gift for yourself. I just love how they set their table. I thought it was so pretty. And you know, we wouldn't have our table this full, but you know, get a little picture frame, three dollars, put the person's name or initials in it as a placeholder. I love it. Oh, and look at this. It says an antique gold pedestal. I thought that was a great idea. Just you know, something tall on your table, put a beautiful centerpiece flower arrangement on that. It would be perfect. And this sign is adorable. It says, how is it possible that out of all the grandkids in the world, we got the best ones? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people out there feel that way. I want to hear some more of the jewelry. So this is a bracelet necklace combo, $20. Oh, and I love these fancy pearls. I didn't see a price on those. Who out there wore a hat pin? I just love this little hat pin. And look at these girls. So fancy little ballerinas, $6. And I love these little giraffe earrings, $6. And I wanted to showcase this table again. I am shocked that they still have it. So it's a wooden base. It feels like a metal top. And look at these chairs with it. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful, just very unique. I love, love, love everything about that table and chairs. Oh, so pretty. And this sign just made me think of all of you guys out there. You all make me smile. You certainly make my day. Here's some of their carnival glass. It was on sale. I think this candy dish was $24.50. And here's another one of their booths. And this kind of had vintage, kind of a vintage vibe of toys and just older items in it. Oh, it says, don't compare your beginning to someone else's middle. We should all remember that. Okay, look at this vintage typewriter. Who out there remembers typing on a Smith Corona? And if it was electric, it was even better. <laughs> I know I did. And I love this little purple and pink Christmas tree. Oh, those are my colors. And I thought this was really pretty. So it's an embroidered picture on sale for $24. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and I thought that sweet girl was beautiful. Again, that just takes me back to pictures I would see when I was younger. And that looks like a little farmhouse looking doll. Oh, and the sweet angel. And who out there had a Raggedy Ann and Andy growing up? I know I did, and oh, I love, loved them. <laughs> and I got to show you this tree. I wanted to showcase this. So they had this tree decorated with like a circus vibe. So they had monkey ornaments, and they had all of those tickets kind of wound around the tree and inside ornaments. Isn't that a clever idea? Oh, they're just so creative. I want to see some mustaches and peanuts and elephants. Oh, and look, just a little dog balloon. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, I think there's a line back there. And this looked like a primitive piece. I just love this horse. I think that was less than $30. And I love to find these old books. So they have this old book. It's $5. But, you know, just to look through a few pages of this, it takes me back. And this looked like it was in really good condition. Oh, my goodness. One of my favorite childhood memories is my mom reading to me. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> she would take on each character's voice. It was just so much fun.
And who out there had a sock monkey lunchbox? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, talk about nostalgia. And look at this little vintage doll. So it says it was made in Poland, $8. And look at this. I remember seeing one of these. Gosh, I, that takes me back to $35 for that. And look at this poodle. So it was made in Italy. It looks like an older piece. And they had several poodle items around here today. So, you know, if you guys collect that, definitely check this store out. Oh, and look at this vintage bird pottery. I think that was $24. Oh, I love that pink. Oh, and there's a mama poodle with her babies. $15. And that looked like an older piece, too. And here's a shop further around through the store. And I'm telling you, it just goes on and on in here. It's beautiful. And I got to tell you, this store has a prayer tree, and I just love the thought behind this. So you come in, you fill out a card, you put your prayer in their prayer box. Someone comes in, takes them out, prays over them, and displays them on the prayer tree. So here's their prayer box. I absolutely love this idea. Oh, and look how fancy they have this table set. Oh, I love, 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 love everything about this. And I wanted to show you their garland. So someone had made this cute little snowman garland. And I wanted to show you these pear gourds. So you could either cut a hole in it and make it as a birdhouse or just set it up as decor. Isn't that beautiful? They were really lightweight, just dried out gourds. Oh, prove them wrong. Absolutely. Everybody out there, prove them wrong. And I love this. It says there are some who can live without wild things and some who cannot. So Ric Flair, that's my cat. He's my wild thing. I cannot live without him. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, and that sign, you got this. And I thought this was a beautiful plate. So it looked like it had been handmade. It was really heavy. And it felt like some type of like stoneware. Oh, love you. That's to my sweet hubby out there. Love you. Oh, and this sign, it says, Good memories are a second chance at happiness. And that was by Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, I believe that too. Good memories are a second chance at happiness. And here's just another shot around their store. Are you guys having fun? Oh, I love, love, love this store. Oh, and here's a t-shirt. In a world full of Grinches, be a Griswold. <laughs> we should all be more like the Griswolds. Oh, and they have these beautiful plants in the window. I thought these were just gorgeous. And here's another one of their chairs. This was less than $100. And this looked brand new. I thought it was beautiful. Oh, and you know I love a bird. That kind of gives me a shabby chic vibe. Mm, and I love this little, I guess that could be a soap or lotion dispenser. Wouldn't that make your bathroom look fancy? Oh, and here's another sign that says, throw kindness around like confetti. We should all throw kindness around like confetti. And here's another shot kind of up in a display area of their store. And all of these items are for sale. Oh, I love those chairs with those pillows. Ooh. Oh, no bad days, everybody out there. No bad days. Oh, and I love this little frog planter, $14. And here's a shot looking back through the store. This is kind of where we first came in. And when we came in, we took a lift. So I'm telling you, this store is full, full, full of beautiful items. I gotta show you this. So they have these antique fold away baskets that you could use as a little shopping basket while you're there in the store. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I had never seen baskets like that. I thought they were so pretty. And look at this. They have beautiful blouses for sale here. Oh, I thought that was a really good deal. Those are beautiful t-shirts. Oh, look at that. You can even get fancy cowboy rain boots here. <laughs> love, love it. Oh, and yes, tough times don't last. Tough people do. You guys remember that out there. 
Oh, and I love these Myra purses. Oh, those are so pretty. Mm, I think the one with the sunflowers on it's my favorite. Isn't that pretty? And I thought this was a great idea. So someone had made jar openers. Look at that. Look at all those designs. I love their throw pillows at this store. Hands down. Look at that. And that actually had some texture to it. Love, love that. And here's another one of their booths in the store. And this is kind of more of a clothing boutique. But it's got a little bit of everything in it. <laughs> Tons of pillows. I love this sign. So it says, if I have to stir it, then it's homemade. <laughs> That's what we say in my house. Oh, and look at that planter. Oh, I love this pillow. Oh, I love, love that pillow. Oh, and look at this one for $21. And that was really soft. And look at this cute little area in their store. So those vintage chairs, that vintage table. And we should all do more of what we love out there. Absolutely do what you love. So now this is kind of walking back into their coffee shop. And it's called the Moo and Brew Coffee Shop. I mean, it just goes on and on here. It's so beautiful. It really just makes you feel fantastic to be in the store. And look, I found a little wooden pig for your friend who has everything. <laughs> Come in here, get them that little wooden pig. You know they're going to love that. And I thought this t-shirt was so cute. It says, I'm just a girl who loves chickens. <laughs> and I love their mugs. And here's a shot as you go around through the store and they sell pretzels and baked goods and ice cream. And of course, all these gourmet coffees. It's just beautiful in this store. It certainly feels like you've stepped back in time. Oh, I love that little basket or that bucket. And look at all these goodies they've got in it. Oh my gosh, this mixer took me back. I know I tell you guys, but I swear my grandmother had a mixer like this and I can remember it had all those, you know, uh, directions on the side on, you know, if you want to mash something, whip something, mix something. And look at this Pennsylvania Dutch canister set from the 1950s, $39. Who out there had one of those? And here's another shot around their store. I love that Christmas tree with the pink garland on it. Ooh, love, love. So I hope you all have had fun coming with me today. Oh, look at this mug. It says, my best friend has four paws. That would be my little Ric Flair. And look at this next sign. This is more appropriate for him. So it's a little chalkboard and it says, I'm in trouble because. <laughs> we wouldn't have enough chalk to write all the reasons my Ric Flair gets in trouble. <laughs> So I wanted to showcase this sign again. It says, do more of what you love. And I want to encourage everybody out there, take time for yourself throughout the day, no matter what it is, just do something that you enjoy. And I always love bringing you with me. So that brings me joy. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And until next time, come go with me today. Bye.